Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This is the continuation of mathematical models for exponential function. Now we have the exponential growth model in terms of compounded or compoundly. We have a new formula. A is equal to P quantity 1 plus quantity R over N raised to N times T. Okay. Where in A is the compound amount. T is the time in years, in terms of years. In time, we have the semi-annually, you will encounter that, or quarterly. P is our principal amount. And N is the period per year. To better understand our exponential growth model, let's have this example. Pablo invested 75,000 at an annual in annual rate of 6% compounded yearly. Find the total amount in the account after 10 years if no withdrawals and no additional deposits are made. First step, we write our formula. So A is equal to P 1 plus quantity R over N raised to N times the time. Okay. In short, Pablo invested or deposited 75000 in his bank account with annual rate of 6% compounded yearly. So we're going to find the total amount after 10 years if he does not deposit or if he did not withdraw or deposit in that duration of time. So, let us find what is P, the value of P. His principal amount is 75,000. Okay, 75,000 pesos. Next, our rate. Our rate is 6%. In decimal, that is 0 0.06. This move to decimal to the left. And our N. N is our period per year. So we're going to find how many year we have. So we have one period per year. So that will become one and our time our time is after 10 years so time is 10 after finding the values for p r n and t substitute our formula so we have a is equal to p is 75000 times 1 plus our R or the rate is 0 0.06 over our N is 1. Raised to N is 1 times our time we have 10 years. Now we have 75,000 times 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 1, that is 0 0.06, raised to 1 times 10, this will become 10. So 75,000 times 1 plus 0 0.06, this is 1.06. 
raised to them. Okay, let us use the calculator. So we have 75,000 times 1.06 raised to 10. 1.06 raised to 10. This is 1.7908 uh, multiplied to 75,000 times 75,000. So his money will become 134,313.58 after 10 years. Okay. This will be the amount of his money after 10 years. If that is compounded yearly with 6% interest rate okay so this is our problem number one we have problem number two here determine the amount of money if Joe invested 200,000 in the bank with an annual interest rate of 8% compounded Compounded, we're going to find letter A, monthly for 10 years, and letter B, semi-annually for 10 years. Okay, for letter A, monthly for 10 years, and for letter B, semi-annually for 10 years. If you want to try A, A and B, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching. To check your answers. Our formula is A is equal to B 1 plus R over N raised to n d. So let us find our principal amount that is 200,000. Substitute. Then 1 plus our rate is 8%. In decimal that is 0 0.08. Over our n, so we have monthly. So how many months are there in a year? So our n will become 12. So we have n is 12 times our time is 10 years. Okay. Again, let us repeat. 200,000. That is our principal amount. Happy one plus our rate is 8%. In decimal, that is 0 0.08. Over our N monthly. So we have 12 months in a year. So we have 12 times our N is 12 times 10. Simplify. 200,000, 1 plus... 0 0.08 divided by 12. 0 0.08 divided by 12. This is 
So this is raised to negative 3. So we need to move 3 times on the left. That's why we have 0 0.067. Then 12 times 10, that is 120. Now we have 200,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0067. This is 1 point. 0067 raised to 120. So 200,000 times, so we're going to raise 1.0067 raised to 120. That is 2.23. So this is 2.23. Now, 200,000 times 2.23. So that is, okay. So 1.0067 raised to 120 equals sign. Then just multiply it to equal sign then multiply it to 200,000 and his money will become 445695.48 after 10 years 445,695 and 48 centavos after 10 years if that is The interest rate is monthly. For letter B, semi annually for 10 years. So we have semi annually. So A is equal to 200,000 times, I think we don't have enough space. So A is equal to 200,000 times 1 plus our R is the same, 0 0.08 over our N is semi-annually. Semi means 2. So this will become 2 raised to 2 times our time is 10. So, 200,000 times 1 plus divide 0 0.08 divided by 2. 0 0.08 divided by 2, that is 0 0.04. 0 0.04. 2 times 10, 20. So, 200,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04, this is 1.04, raised to 20. So, 1.04, raised to 20, this is 200,000, raised to 20, this is 2.191, okay? Then multiply to our principal amount, 100,000. So, 438,224.63 centavos. This will be the amount after 10 years. For semi-annually. That's it, our, uh, that's the exponential growth models. So, a lot of numbers. Just don't forget to our rules in, of course, the PEMDAS, the order of operations. Thank you for watching, Senior Pablo.